We've got all of this stuff here. All of this stuff. All of this in the center. Um, all of this over here. All the way down to here. Wow, this place got cleared out. So, I have the keys now. I gotta find light switches to get these back lights on. And we can start sorting. So I'm going through here. This is stuff for eBay. Some of it I'm looking it up, some of it I'm not. Um, these I looked up. These are selling for 150 bucks each. I've got one, two, three, four, five of them. Um, like this, I'm not looking it up because it seems likely that it's gonna sell on eBay. This I'm not looking it up because it's small and if it's not, you know, it's too much stuff to look up. I only have a week to get this all sorted. Um, and then over here, we're gonna do a dollar sale. Everything's a buck. It's gonna be like a wa regular warehouse sale, but it's all this stuff and everything's a buck. It's gonna be one day. So I'm starting to sort. I've got kind of just small stuff, appliances. This is going to be like audio equipment. Um, this is um, vintage boom boxes, uh, more industrial computer equipment, laptops. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell the laptops for a dollar each or not. Computer parts, speakers, keyboards, mouses, and these ones that are wrapped, we're gonna sell them for a dollar for the whole bundle. This is kind of like nicer keyboards cords and uh, over here uh, boom boxes i guess and sound bars there is a lot there's gonna be a lot of different categories i'm just trying to organize it somewhat and then we'll get like tables and stuff in here to sell up hopefully it does well the goal in the dollar sale for this isn't really to make money it's to get rid of stuff and to cover the cost of payroll to get rid of that stuff all right, first pallet is done. It took about an hour. We've got everything that's left in here is eBay or seems like it should be eBay. This is stuff for the auction. You already kind of saw this. I added a couple more categories. I'm not going to go through it all right now. So move on to the next one. I think I want to get these plastic Gaylords done first because they'd be nice to have to use. So I think I'm going to work on that one next. So right here, I just opened a couple of boxes. This one, DVD, as is that one, should be 40 or 50 bucks each. This is a Panasonic. So Panasonic and Sony are kind of the better ones as far as desirability. I guess that's about 50 to 60 bucks. Sony and Sony, these are probably about 100 bucks each. And then here, we've got Canon camera. Not super fancy, but probably still about 50. We've got a Nikon film camera. This with the lens, probably about a hundred, give or take. And then this one here, Canon Rebel 2000 with the lens. Uh, it's a Tamron lens, probably still about a hundred bucks. This is the type of thing that's going to do really well in the auction: a vintage Crosley radio, um, old tube radio. I don't know if it works, but even for parts, I'm sure it'll do well. Fragile pack inside well i'm not gonna mess with selling this online it's way too fragile for me but i'm excited about this one i bet this goes for 40 bucks at least in the auction i was gonna throw this in the dollar sale area but i saw it's ibm it's only 540 megabits so that means it's an old one maybe they don't make them anymore i looked it up no solds, but they're listed between three and seven hundred bucks. Meaning, I bet you know it didn't sell at that price, but I bet we could list it for fifty or a hundred bucks, and maybe it'll sell. It's a bit of a gamble, but I already own it, so I'm not risking buying it. Um, yeah, I could get a dollar for it, maybe in the sale. It's not worth it. I feel like it's worth risking the potential dollar to do that. Pallet number two emptied out. Took about 45 minutes. And the eBay pallet's filling up a little bit. I've got an auction pile here. And this is filling up a little bit. So the first eBay pallet is full. I actually have lids for these, but they're not here. So 
I'm not going to stack it any higher than this because I want to be able to put the lid on so I can stack them because this will probably take a week to list at least. And if I'm going to have a whole bunch of these, I'd rather not take up the floor space. I'd like to stack them. Unfortunately, I only have three of these plastic ones here. I've got a couple more at the warehouse um, that I might bring. But here, I only have these. Those two items are also eBay. This thing on the bottom, oh, and that. This is like 60 bucks, some muscle massager. We got a switch. And this big Allen Bradley thing is, I don't remember. Tim told me it's a slam dunk. I think he said over $1,000. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm, gonna, I'm working on this one here, but I'll show you what we're looking at over here. More auction stuff here. Uh, this is kind of neat, this Bose thing. It's missing the remote and you can't use it without the remote. So I might order it. This is again, just little stuff. Anything that's small, I'm stacking up in here. Oh, I'm also doing GPS units and headphones. Uh, any headphones that look nicer for eBay are going there. I even have a nice Turtle Beach set there for the auction. GPSs, they're not really worth selling on their own for the most part. But I feel like, you know, if I do a lot of 10 GPSs for 100 bucks, maybe I'd be able to get that. Um, so you saw some stuff over here already. We had some more of these older boom boxes, uh, just weird stuff. Speakers over here, projectors, computer parts, little speakers. This is like radios and boom boxes, but like the newer style and then some clock radios in there. Transformers, uh, video games. I don't expect much for video games, but maybe stuff like that, the plug and play ones, computer monitors, items in boxes, tools. I think got a chainsaw here. I'm gonna sell for a dollar. Um, I think it's junk. And it'll be very clear to a buyer. This doesn't pull out or in. Well, oh, hold on. Oh, it's still probably drunk, junk, but I'm not an engine guy. Um, the tools here aren't really anything special. This Craftsman set, if I had a charger for it, because it looks to be in pretty nice shape, I would probably put it in the auction. Everything else is just not that desirable of stuff. This is nice, but again, no charger. So I'm sure I'll be able to sell some of this stuff. Printers over here, these IBMs aren't worth anything. This is probably a really nice printer. It's a Wi-Fi printer. We're selling it for a dollar because I don't want to haul any printers back with me. I'm sure I'm gonna have to haul these back to put in the dumpster. Typewriters, and I think that's it. Um, I was excited to get this because I've got an identical one at the warehouse, so now I have two. These are hand print, like for clocking in and out. You put your hand in there, it gets your hand print. They are selling for like a hundred bucks, but only a few of them have sold. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I've got more than this, this palette is about half full of those also. I haven't actually gone through this one, but I remember filling it up. Um, rather than just storing them all forever, I don't think I'll be able to sell them all on eBay. I'm gonna let most of them go for a dollar each. I'm gonna keep like three to five units. Now I know whoever buys them, probably gonna sell them on eBay. Now I'm creating competition for myself if someone buys them, but I don't care. We do enough volume and our account is in a good enough standing where I think most sellers would take a backseat to us other than the really big corporate ones that sell, you know, a hundred units per day. Um, I think that does make a difference in whether or not something's going to sell and how much we can get for them just because we have that level of trust based on the volume we do. Whereas a lot of people who are going to be coming in here buying stuff for the most part are going to be people who, and there's nothing wrong with it, but they're working from home. They sell maybe one or two items a day or less. And that's great. And that's where I started too. And for some people, maybe that's all they want to do. But I feel like being a, a company on Am or on eBay, I keep saying Amazon, what's going on today? Being a company on eBay that sells volume, I think that pushes us up in search results a little bit better. Um, so I'm not too worried about creating competition. And if I do, and I don't sell any of them on eBay, who cares? I made enough money in the rest of the stuff to make a profit anyway. When I get cash drawers, I always pull a drawer out. You'd be surprised how often I find money in here that gets caught in here and just stuck. Check to make sure it's not stuck to the bottom. Not here. 
There have been many times where I found a five, ten. I think the most I found was 20 bucks in one of them. I thought for sure these would be a score. There are two of them. They're street lights. Um, they are not selling. They're listed for 120 each, but no solds. It's huge. Look at this thing. But I think if I put it in the auction, someone might buy it to put it in their yard or something. All right. I think I'm done for the day. Found this. It's a drum set. It seems like it's got all of the parts except for it's got the pedal for the drum, but not the bass drum, but not the part that swings up and hits it. Got this fancy little central computer all the cords and everything the other issue is the bass drum itself is broken and they tried to fix it but i feel like this could fetch some decent money in the auction i don't know what it's worth so we're just gonna send it to auction that's the beauty of auctions don't need to know what it's worth so seven pallets done today my goal is seven and a half per day i'll get it all sorted in four days but I didn't start here till after 11 a.m. So pretty confident in myself with that. This is the auction pile. And then I started adding auction stuff to this empty pallet. So this is also auction. Um, we've got, this is all Tim's. Tim bought stuff in this auction too. So that's all the stuff he bought. Um, these two are eBay pallets. There's still a little bit of room in here. That one's empty and ready to be filled up with more eBay. And, oh, I don't think I showed you over here yet. Um, stuff that we're bringing back to the warehouse for eBay or the auction right here. Um, it's getting stacked here, like bigger stuff. Now we've got newer receivers, older receivers, and I think that's just other stereo equipment. Even found a couple items for the warehouse sale. So I am out of here for the day. I gotta see if I can remember where the light switches are because I think they were like scattered all over the building. And I'll be back Monday, today's Friday, to work on some more of this. It was neither of those light switches, just in case you were wondering. All right, let's try these ones. Ooh, that was some of them. Oh, there's more right here. Nope, that just turned more lights on. I know these did, some of these did stuff, but is this going to be all of them? Nope. I got to find for those. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one. Okay, now here's the question. Do these lights over here shut off? Or are they like emergency lights? I mean, it's just one light. So I could see that being like an emergency light or a security light. Oh, I'm just gonna leave that one on. It was daytime when I got here, so I don't know if I had them all off or not when I came in. All right, I will be back in a couple of days. <laughs> all right, so I'm back. It's actually Sunday. I'm just trying to get a little ahead here. I actually brought a broom and a dustpan this time. Look how much nicer this floor looks. I actually can't believe the mess this auction company left here for the for their client. Let me show you this. Look at this. All of this. You know, I understand their job isn't to clean, their job is to sell this stuff. I own an auction company too. And when we go into someone's home and business, it's the home or business, it's the same thing. Our job isn't to clean, it's to sell the stuff. However, if there's a big mess of stuff on the floor and we're not doing anything, I mean, I can tell you how many times, they, how long they were just standing around in a circle chatting. We're gonna pick up a broom and clean up a little bit. We're not gonna scrub the toilets, but we'll sweep up the trash off the floor at least. I, I, could, I can't believe the state they left this place. I mean, like this area here is understandable because this is all my stuff. But that side was completely empty and just a ton of trash on the floor. And boy, did that make it fun I'm trying to roll a pallet jack around, which is why I'm one of the reasons I'm sweeping it up. I'm also doing it because they were the owners of the business were nice enough to let me have this building for two, two or three weeks without charging me. 
I even insisted. I said, hey, you know, we're going to be using electricity and stuff in here. I'm happy to pay something. He says, no, don't worry about it. So I'm going to try and get this place as clean as I can for them. So I think I'm going to try and get this section done today. I'm not going to be here super long. Um, this is all just empty boxes, and I started filling them with trash that I swept off the floor. But if I get this done, that'll kind of make this area look a lot more open and clear. I'm also going to do this little pile. This was actually left by someone who bought it and didn't pick it up. And I told them I would just take it. So I have no idea what's in it, but I got it for free. Anyone know what this thing is? It was in this free pile. Bosch and Lom. No other like model numbers or anything. I tried looking up these with it. Couldn't find anything. This is just the company that sold it. No other markings on it anywhere. Oh, losing it. There we go. I have no idea, but it seems expensive. So I'm just going to put it in the eBay pile and we'll figure it out later. So some of the better finds. We've got an Atari 800. Over here, graphing calculator, SLR camera, camcorder, a couple of voice recorders. Um, this is exciting. A D 3DS. I haven't found one of these in a while. Uh, it won't turn on, probably just from sitting. It cosmetically looks like it's in nice condition. It probably works fine. I've got a game and a charger at the warehouse, so I can test it. So I'm starting to rethink the dollar sale idea. Here's my thought process. A buddy of mine was just here picking up some of that packing material I gave him. Again, it's not my responsibility to get rid of it, but you know, he got rid of four bags. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. Instead of doing the dollar sale. All right, anyway, so he bought like seven VCRs. They're not really worth anything on eBay. He's got an antique booth and he's gonna put them in his antique booth for like 20 bucks each. He gave me 10 bucks for a stack of them. What if I just get an antique booth instead? Think about this for a second. All these DVD players I can put in the antique booth for like three to five bucks each. The work, i test them, but the working VCRs, you know, 20 bucks each. Some of these nicer subwoofers I could probably put for 10 each. Um, you know, I could probably put some of these speakers together to make actual sets. In fact, in this box, which is a dollar sale box, I've got a set of five Zenith speakers and I could probably find I'm sure I could connect any of these. Oh, that's Zenith, it probably goes right with this. So the speaker's in this, and then I'm sure they'd work just fine on this Philips receiver here, if I don't find the Zenith one that I went with, and then sell that for 40 bucks. And what else? And some of the stuff, like these boom boxes, I could probably sell for 10 bucks each. I'm obviously not gonna be able to sell everything, like this isn't gonna sell, um, but, a lot of the better stuff we can do that with laptops i can just do one lot in the auction i can sell these by the box in the auction and maybe only get two or three bucks a box but they're gone big lot of tools one auction lot box electronics one auction lot oh and then there's over here i wasn't going to put this stuff in the dollar sale but i wasn't sure what i was going to do if i was just going to have a big audio equipment auction but I mean, look at all these receivers. Some of them said not working on them. Some of them say nothing, so I have to test them. Um, but even, you know, this thing's probably 200 bucks. If it doesn't work, I could probably still get 25 bucks in an antique booth for it, maybe. I don't know. I did an antique booth once in my life. It was in Colorado Springs, and I wasn't living in Colorado or anything. I just happened to be in Colorado, but it was all like new stuff for the most part. Um, from a store that I bought out Alco discount stores if you've been around long enough I don't even know if that was on a video that might have been before YouTube um, Didn't do that great, but this is more like vintage electronics. This might be better I'm Starting to think about it more now and I kind of like that idea better now Obviously not everything is gonna go in the antique booth. There's still gonna be stuff left here but all that's going to be left, I think, is going to be too undesirable to make sense to come in here and be staffed on a Saturday. It would just be me and one other guy. But take up a Saturday and sell this stuff. Because we're going to have stuff like those two giant printers and the office phones. And, you know, the more desirable stuff will be gone. So I'm about to leave. It's 
137 and the playoff games start at 2. So I got to get out of here. But I'm going to put some thought into that before I come back. Because the more I'm thinking about it, and I've got antique stuff you know, at the warehouse and even at home that just isn't going to do great in the auction that I could put in the antique booth. Like I bought a bunch of brand new and packaged like kitchen stuff from the 60s that is not worth anything on eBay. And I spent like five bucks for the whole box of it. I thought it was cool. So I just brought it home. I'd probably get five bucks a piece for them in the, in the booth. I'd ask what you guys think, but the decision will already be made before you watch this. But I'm kind of leaning in that direction right now. There's a couple in Appleton. There's one in Green Bay. I could even get multiple antique booths if I'm flooding too much of the same type of item. I think I might, I might do that. Even some of the stuff that's designated for the auction, I could juice it up a little bit and put that in the antique booth too. So I'm back here digging, and here's some nice finds. We've got an 83 plus. It's about 30 bucks. I don't know if I can get this out with one hand. We got an HP 15C. That's going to be at least 30. It's been a while since I looked that up. We've got two of these TI Inspire CXs. This one the lids on backwards. So you can't get it with one hand. But two of these. It's been a long time since I've sold these. These might be like 100. They might be like 30. I don't know. We got TI-86, which is about 20 or 30. We got this thing. I haven't looked it up. These could be hit or miss. These paddles are decent. We've got a camera. I probably have a charger for it. That's probably going to be 30 bucks. Another camera. This is probably going to be... Uh, this is DVD. Probably about 30. And a whole bunch of tape decks here. Um, they usually get about 40 bucks each. We've also got these printers, which are going for about 150. Uh, this guy, usually I've never heard of this brand, but usually these trackball mouses are good. There's a bunch of video game stuff in here, including an Xbox 360 with like 10 controllers. What was in here? I already forgot. Oh, just more video game stuff. Um, this camera really isn't worth anything, but I'm saving all the digital cameras and the ones that aren't worth selling individually. Like that one's probably worth selling on its own. This one isn't. I'll just lock them together. This is a tablecloth from Gordman's with their logo on it. Um, these are like a lot of 10 of these sold for 60, but they don't seem to be flying out the door, but they might sell. Um, and then I really filled this box of GPSs up. There's a lot of them in here. I'd guess there's probably about 30 so far. I haven't actually looked them up, but the hope is I sell you know, I'll see if any of them are worth anything on their own, but probably like a lot of 10 for 100 bucks or something like that uh, is my guess. I haven't looked them up yet, though. I'm sure they're at least worth something in lots, so it doesn't really matter. The third eBay palette is getting pretty full here. Um, and, of course, there's a lot of good stuff here as well. Um, this is all I have for these gray bins, though. So I'm going to have to start filling up these uh, Fruit Gaylords next. This is a palette of like vintage type items. That would be antique booth or auction. And then I'm starting another one here. This is a palette of non-vintage stuff that I'm gonna send to auction. And this area is filling up. We got printers, we got candy machine bases, uh, just a whole bunch of different stuff. A lot of keyboards, uh, some Sony, or a couple of them are Sony, but five disc CD changers. A lot of DVD players, a few VCRs, speakers, projectors, camcorders, computer parts, boom boxes, and related type items. Here's laptops and desktops, phones, typewriters. We're filling up pretty good over here. So I reached out to every antique mall in the area. I'm still waiting to hear back on a few. Uh, but all the ones that I've heard back from are all full. So I have a feeling I won't be getting an antique booth. The one that I think is probably the best one, they said they have 140 people on their wait list. They estimate about 30 months. So I'm on the wait list. Whether or not I will use it in 30 months, I don't know. But I was looking on the late wait list just in case. All right, cleared a few more. These are full. I can maybe put some little tiny things on top, but that's about it. This is an eBay palette now. This palette, I didn't even have to go through. These aren't really worth anything on eBay. The whole bottom is two different SKUs. 
Um, I'm gonna set them to auction. This looks fancy. I have no idea, probably eBay. Two computers, that's gonna be an auction. This, I think is ethernet cable. I'm not, some sort of cable, possibly eBay, possibly auction. And this looks like a really nice printer. It's a Ryko. Um, probably just gonna Facebook Marketplace that one. And so this one's basically ready to go. So I'm gonna start stacking stuff over here. I've also got my auction pallets right there and right there are getting pretty full. So I'll be starting some new ones. So a delivery truck just arrived with a pallet. I was very confused. I thought it was the company I was here before because I have to clear out like all that stuff. I thought they were coming here to do that. No, nope, it's a delivery, but not for this, for a garden supply store. So the mail just came here. All right, a couple of things. First, I tried calling the post office to pick these up. I don't want these, and I couldn't get a hold of anyone at the post office. So I actually scheduled a mail pickup for tomorrow um, so they can come pick them up, and if they don't want them, then... I'm gonna have to haul them out of here and throw them in the recycling bin. We don't use them, we rarely ship priority mail. Um, well, the post office showed up today and I'm thinking, oh, they're early, I scheduled it for yesterday. Nope, they had two eBay returns delivered here. So I reached out to the owner and said, hey, you got eBay returns here, but I was talking to the post office lady and they're gonna send someone tomorrow to pick up all those boxes. So I don't need to worry about hauling them out of here. So I'm excited about that. All right, so it's been a little while since I've updated you. I don't even know if I gave you an update today so far. It's day four here, not including the couple hours that I was here looking before the auction. There were two days during loadout, two days after. I'm also not including Sunday. I was only here for a couple hours. I've got six eBay pallets ready to go. There's still a little bit of room for some small stuff in these top boxes, but basically six full pallets for eBay here. These are good. If you ever see these IBM Select Selectrics, they have a little ball here. These are expensive. This one's about 300 bucks on eBay. Um, I learned about these because someone reached out to me and said they were looking for one of these and they sent me a picture and well, this big monstrosity, there's no way this is worth anything. So I just looked them up on eBay thinking maybe she didn't think to look on eBay. Yeah, they're expensive on eBay. I don't know if they're all 300, but they're all expensive and this one's 300. Um, we get that one, I haven't really done much with uh, because I was pretty much stacked and ready. Whole bunch of stuff in here. I bet this is valuable. It's Allen Bradley, I love that brand. Um, we already saw those. I have two, four, six, eight more to go through. This one is just RC cars. That's all that's in here, RC cars, planes, helicopters, things like that. This is just stacked boxes. All of these are fans. Funny story, they bought these for me several years ago. Uh, I think I had, must have had a whole pallet. I vaguely remember them, um, but they came from a staples load and I bought them back and we're gonna put them in the sale. Uh, some of the bigger boxes I just stacked here. It's not even on a pallet. We've got the kitty sleeping. Craigslist Hunter's cat also has a cat, but his is louder and sheds more. So I have to go through these yet. Um, over here, we've got these three. This one barely has anything in it. It's stuff that's going in the auction and it's like vintage type stuff, um, which will fit well with some of our existing auctions. Just kind of pepper it in so people don't get overload. This is just some bigger stuff that I'm thinking I'm gonna auction. That's brand new. Um, and then these two over here are also going in the auction, but it's like non-vintage stuff. It's stuff that someone would buy and use now. Um, I kept, this is a nice monitor, HDMI hookups. This is a TV and this, they're not super nice monitors, but they come on a dual monitor stand. So I feel like there's some value there. Uh, more stuff, like this is a nicer looking set of speakers. It's just JVC, but they're decent. Um, and then all this over here is starting to pile up. Remember how empty this area was? We're filling it back up. All the smalls that don't really fit in anywhere. Household appliances. We, we already went through this a few times. Uh, DVDs are really, DVD players are really piling up. So are speakers. But those two categories I think will do well. Camcorders, projectors, a lot of computer parts. Almost all of these are power supplies. Like these things. 
I looked up a couple of them and there was no value in them. So I'm just assuming they all have no value. But if I saw a fancy looking one like this, I'd looked it up and there were a couple that I hung on to. This one wasn't worth anything. Um, we got a whole bunch of these. It's for a cash register. It's like a mounting unit, I guess. Uh, no value online. Typewriters. Uh, there are a couple like this that I did save that were worth something. Printers. I doubt these are going to go. But some of these nicer ones, I think, will. The tools really piled up. The phones really piled up. Once upon a time, I would have paid a thousand bucks for this. all these phones. Um, I even looked on Amazon. This does None of these um, really exist. The only listings are the renewed listings, which are restricted. On eBay, some sales, but very you know, two or three sales of a single model over the last 90 days for like 12 bucks free shipping. I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, the candy machine bases, routers. Some of these are probably worth listing, but none of them have power cords. So I don't feel like messing with it. Get rid of them. TVs and monitors. Um, we got a whole bunch of these transformers here. The video game stuff, we added that, this, and this thing, I don't know if this was in there when I showed you last. Um, keyboards, a lot of keyboards, and these are still the Apple ones and some of the nicer, more unique ones. So uh, my goal is seven pallets today, seven pallets tomorrow. I'm through one, two, three, four, five. So I just need to do two more. So I'm gonna tackle these two, and then I'll have two, four, six, and I'm counting this testing area as a pallet. Uh, most of it was already boxed up and taken care of. Um, some of it, the boxes are still here, so I'll have to go through them. I feel like this is equivalent to a pallet as far as the amount of work that I'll have to put in, though. And I should be able to tackle that tomorrow. I mean, I'm not leaving yet. It's only... What time is it, anyway? 1.44. So I'll easily be able to get these two pallets and then probably one or two more over here. Over here, all the receivers, the modern ones from the other day, I took to the warehouse. So this is a new stack and we got vintage ones. Um, this is the ones that I feel like have enough value to list online. Um, those two look nicer, but they're not worth anything online. I'm a antique mall or something. I have to clean up this mess. Technically, I don't have to. I bought the shelves and the contents and the contents is just right here in front of it. But I don't want to leave a huge mess for them. But I think I'm going to save this. I'm going to be cleaning it up during the sale. I just have a feeling that it's then aren't going to be a lot of people here. We'll get a little bit of a rush in the morning when we first open and then nothing. So that being the case, I'd like to have something for us to do. Um, these are nice. I've been looking for couple more of these because we've got two that oh, they get used and they get moved around so those would be nice to have i was gonna buy them they're like 30 bucks i don't necessarily need the organizer just a tape dispenser for the big tape rolls uh, for two inch tape rolls so it's nice that i've got these got some ebay shipping material here um over here all of these they haven't showed up to pick them up yet but you know maybe they will eventually all of these shopco bags um we got a big case here, a couple of cases there. Those will go get used in the sale. And then we've got some other odds and ends in here as well. Thought that, oh, on top of here, there were a bunch of x-rays. Let me see if they're still accessible. I looked them up on eBay and they're not, they're, not a lot of them are selling, but the ones that are selling are like 25 bucks. But I don't know if eBay has an issue with that because it's got like the patient's name and date of birth on it. Uh, kind of buried, but right here, a bunch of, uh, let's dig this up. Oh, don't break it. X-rays. Um, so like I said, it's got the patient's name and date of birth. I looked up the doctor and he passed away in 2007. So I'm guessing he passed away and then they just sold off everything in the clinic, including patient data. Um, but anyways... They're selling, but not a lot. I don't know if eBay would have a problem with me listing that though. And the ones that are selling, I looked, they have patient, the patient's name and date of birth on it too. So, but it could be like CPAP machines. Look up CPAP machines on eBay. There are a whole bunch of active and a whole bunch sold, but as soon as you list yours, eBay is gonna pull it. And I don't wanna risk my eBay account for it. So I think we'll just throw those in the auction. 
And like all of these boxes, we've got the big box compactor, the baler, so we'll just throw all those in. Uh, when I get a truck here, I'll haul them out. All right, eight pallets done. I've got six left, including that area, counting that as a pallet. That's where I'm gonna call it for the day. All emptied out. And over here, we've got six and a half for eBay now. Filled this up. Well, this pile's getting smaller. They are hauling them out right now. All right, I'm getting sick going through that stuff. I've got like two and a half pallets left. I wanna tackle this. Clean this mess up a little bit over here and over here. Technically, it's not my responsibility, but they let me use this building for free. So I am going to clean it up for them. There, that took two minutes. I took the loose boxes, threw them on the pile, and just swept all the stuff into a box. It amazes me that the auction company wouldn't do that. Ignore this side. I haven't touched that yet. Well... I'm starting to get pretty tired. I got all the pallets done. I just have to do this little office area. And I kind of already started with that. Also, this is an adjustable height table and it works. I was just gonna sell this thing for a dollar, but knowing that it's adjustable height and it works, I feel like I can put it in the auction and get more than that. Should I be doing this on a video that's already probably way too long? Eh, call the editor. So, I'll give you an idea of where we are. That's all the extras that I'm saving for after the sale's over. We've got seven eBay pallets here. We've got one here. This one is not stacked as nicely, and there's still a lot of room in it. The reason it stacks so poorly and now tetris in is because I can't reach over this. It's like, you know, up to my chest. It's a little bit taller than these, but these have this nice little door that opens so I can reach the bottom. Uh, so that's all eBay. I suppose I could flatten this one. This is empty. This is auction. This is just stuff. Um, all this needs to get put on the other side that nice steel chainsaw um, over here we've got three pallets of vintage auction stuff one pallet of electronics auction two pallets of mixed GM auction and then all of this it definitely filled up a lot over here so I am going to be back here tomorrow with tables and I'm gonna set them up on the front end here and start organizing for the sale. I don't expect that'll take me very long. I'm hoping just a couple of hours. A lot of it, like all these speakers, I'm probably just gonna leave here just like this. These, I don't know, I might just leave them like that. I, you know, it's mostly like this type of stuff that's gonna get on tables. And even that might stay. It might, to be honest, just be this kind of mixed random small stuff that ends up on the tables and everything else is left where it is. And then I need to get a truck so I can get all these pallets out of here. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. Tim bought this stuff. He was bidding on the auction too. Um, so I'm going to get all this stuff out of here. I got to finish this, but it's not going to take long. It's just going through these boxes um, and the random stuff on the floor. And then I'll have another table. That desk we're going to try and sell for a dollar. Um, so that's the plan tomorrow. We'll have all of this out. I'm not gonna block any part of this off to keep people out. So I need to get all of the stuff that I'm hanging on to out of here before the sale Saturday. Um, this shelving unit, honestly, I don't want it. Um, it's like, this is welded together. So it is one double width shelf. I don't really have a use for anything like this. And you can see it's, I mean, you could make it a little bit more stable without a ratchet strap. I'm going to put that up there. I'm guessing those boards connected it to one that was along the wall because they told me that it started falling. Um, I'm probably just going to put a free sign on this. Of course, I'll take the stuff off of it. Um, 
I want to get all this cardboard out of here. These, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to um, sit maybe tomorrow when I need a break to sit for a little bit and look some of this stuff up. But I think I might just sell them all, let them go for a dollar each. Um, kind of spot check them and see if there's anything worth hanging on to. This file cabinet needs to get out of here. I don't know if I showed you what was in here. Um, it's full of like manuals for old things i don't know if this stuff has any value but i think i got this pretty cheap like under 10 bucks i don't know maybe this stuff is worth something on ebay maybe not and then we'll probably just auction off the file cabinet uh, i'm just gonna haul it out like this uh what else that's pretty much it um those back there I'm trying to get this place as empty as I can for them, as a favor to them, since they let me stay here for free. But I'm not hauling those out. But I will post on uh, on Marketplace and then during the sale, free. See if someone will pick some of these up. I already got a buddy of mine to take four of them. I, have, I don't want them. It's like this type of foam. This stuff right here. Uh, you know, your DVD player, or computer screen would have been wrapped with it. It's not super cushiony. It worked well as void fill, but I've got the air pillow machine and it takes up much less space than that. And I don't know what's under it. There's this bale of paper shreddings. I'm, I mean, if someone wants it, they can have it, but I don't think I was gonna want it. It looks like some sort of shelving unit. I'm not going to investigate though, I, unless this gets all picked up by people. It's a really long video. I mean, I don't know how long the video is, but I can just tell this is gonna be a really long video. Door's locked, let's get out of here. All right, it's Thursday. I got this area cleaned up finally. This person was disgusting. It was just really gross over here. Um, and we are done. That's eBay, that's auction, that's empty. And this is all eBay. I posted that for 25 bucks. I'm hoping someone takes it. Um, these are auction auction and then we're all set up over here let's see they just got all sorts of different stuff it's all gonna be a dollar each we're basically done a little bit of touch-ups but i think i'm done for the day i'm gonna come back tomorrow and do the touch-ups um because i'll have a truck tomorrow to get the other stuff out of here and uh Hopefully we have a good sale day on Saturday. All right, it's Friday, trailer's full of trash. We got all the pallets trucked out of here earlier. We're nice and empty. All this is gone. All that's left is the stuff for the sale. We just have some piles of trash that I'm gonna get to tomorrow. Over here, we've got some piles of trash. Uh, there's one little pile here. One big pile there. I took all the garbage bins. I'm gonna dump those in the dumpster at the warehouse. And uh, we're getting in the home stretch here. So I had somebody offer me 800 bucks for everything over there. And I told him I would take it. We'd just cancel the sale, but he hasn't gotten back to me. So I'm guessing he changed his mind as most people on Facebook Marketplace do. Look how empty it is. Um, ignore that. That's. That's not my responsibility. Technically, none of the trash is my responsibility. So that would have been nice. I've got a rage room that said they would come and take whatever's left. So I don't need to haul that out. Um, the plan is they said it's gonna be like 10 p.m. is the earliest they can get there tomorrow. And otherwise Sunday, I'm not coming on Sunday. So I'm just probably gonna give them a code to the door, uh, get all my stuff out the tables and stuff and give them the code to the door and say, have at it. I think that's the plan. All right, I'm going to go dump this trash, and then I'm done here for today. All right, today's the day. I've got the register set up. I'm hoping it will connect well with the neighbor's Wi-Fi. Otherwise, we're going to have to be cash only. Uh, all the tables are set up. I pulled all the books that I wanted. The rest are here for a buck. I've got a whole bunch of carts and stuff in the trailer. And I'm going to work on cleaning this stuff up during the sale. I mean, look how empty this place is. So we just opened, the line was super long. 
There are cars everywhere here. I bet I just let 70 people in. They're even parked around the back of the building. They were lined up like to the end of the cul-de-sac. I feel like the landscaping guys next door have to be wondering what in the world is happening here. So we're at 450, something like that so far, but an interesting note, we haven't had a single credit card transaction. It's been all cash. Usually it's like 30% cash, 70% card. All done, finish at 730. And boy, is it empty in here. All right, all that is down to these little piles of boxes. Everything else is gone. So this is like my seventh donut today. We're all done. I'm out of here. Got no room in the truck for this. I wasn't planning on taking that. There's some empty boxes up here. We're just leaving behind. Remember, I'm under no obligation to actually clean this place out. I'm doing it because they let us use the building. I got like two full trailer loads of just trash out of here. So, save them a lot of work, a lot of time. Oh, that's right, I was gonna take this wasp spray. Found this, it's almost full. So that's gonna be it for this video. I am out of here. This building's ready to be re-rented. I kind of enjoyed myself, I mean, I would have rather taken the 800 bucks from that guy, especially because we did 730 in sales and I wouldn't have to do any of this. To be honest, I would have been okay taking 200 from him, even knowing I did 700 in sales. Um, anyways, I got a whole lot of eBay stuff to list, a whole bunch of auction stuff to list, but I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long one. I'll see you in the next one. As is tradition when we have a sale, I found a silver dime, 1964.